Well, tonight we are hearing from several community leaders who say the protests that we are seeing across the entire country are a result of several decades of frustration. And leaders say people are simply at a point where they are exploding. And so this is not just about the broken glass that you see downtown. This is about people whose spirits have been broken. Who have been feeling that there has been a knee on their throat forever. A group of community leaders, part of the African American Coalition of Indianapolis and legislators they work with closely took time Saturday to discuss the bigger issues leading to protests like this one in Indianapolis. Because we have a younger generation, younger generations that know nothing but struggle, challenges and, and, and poverty and they get to see the inequities firsthand. None of us has ever seen a white person choked out or killed by the police on video. We've never seen that. Underneath the anger and frustration, leaders say there are economic issues that are very real. People don't have access to good jobs. They're living in unstable, substandard housing, don't have access to the necessities. And so people are looking for more than just meetings and discussions now. They're looking for very real substantive actions, policies, things that are designed to help everyone. And I think the city has to understand is that this is not just a black issue. The African American Coalition of Indianapolis has taken initiative to prioritize their own agenda. There are five key issues. We have police reform and community violence. We're working on affordable housing, um, education reform, particularly the racial achievement gap, uh, food insecurity, and then black business development. They are working closely with legislators, but say this isn't just something politicians or government officials can fix. What I would like to see is everyone just take a look in the mirror and say, what am I doing to oppress, to suppress African Americans, people of color, whether if it's in my job, whether if it's in my community, and how can I take a personal accountability, a spiritual accountability, to help and assist to make our community better. Until the larger community feels it has a dog in the fight and speaks out for greater equity in healthcare, more employment for and training, supporting the training that is going on with police, it will remain the same. The coalition says they have made some progress with the use of force boards supported by the IMPD police chief and Indianapolis mayor, making sure citizens are represented. But there is still a lot of work ahead. We're at a turning point for the city right now. We got to make some tough decisions and some very real commitments. What are we going to do? And the leaders you just heard from say it's encouraging to see a diverse group of protesters on the streets in Indianapolis, not just black protesters.